Report of the Prophet Jojapha. During a moment of prayer and fasting retreat, in 2021, the Lord Jesus Christ showed me the sins that many of his children commit, some in ignorance and others in rebellion, we give thanks to God for the gift of spiritual vision, glory to Jesus Christ, during this moment of prayer my spiritual vision opened, the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to me about a certain demon called the bear of death, and there I saw a beautiful bear in defenseless teddy, the Lord Jesus Christ said to me, what do you see Jojapha? I said to him, a brown bear, and he said to me, what you see there is a demon worshipped throughout the world, by children, my vision changed and there I saw a large bear with sharp teeth, its teeth were like large knives, in the vision I saw this monster which was tearing the flesh of several children in a fire, and the children were screaming loudly, beloved immediately I recognized that it was hell, in the vision I saw several teddy bears, without number, on earth these bears are cute and harmless. In hell it's the complete opposite, these bears are noisy and cruel, the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to me and said, speak to the parents and tell them, I am angry with you wicked and criminal parents, you have offered devils to your children and you have turned them away from my way says the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ said to me come I will show you something, my spiritual vision was still open and I saw a little girl about 7 to 10 years old, she was covered in worms. Mark 9 verse 48 comma where their worm does not die, and the fire is not quenched, Job 21 verse 26 and both lie down in the dust, both become food for the worms, these worms tore her flesh, she was in the fire, in the vision I saw a teddy bear on the back of the little girl, and he violently pulled out the little girl's hair, this little girl was lying on her stomach with her hands and feet outstretched and the teddy bear was sitting on her back. This child's voice barely came out, in her cries she was saying, Sir, please, save me, I'm in pain, my mother left me, I don't know where she is, I'm in pain, help me, help me, I'm in pain, very bad, the Lord Jesus Christ was sad, the Lord Jesus Christ said to me Joja for the world is in darkness, do you know why this girl is here? I said, I guess she worshipped her teddy bear like a god, the Lord Jesus Christ told me, it's her parents fault, her parents gave her a teddy bear, she received it and she idolized it, Proverbs 22 verse 6 instruct the child according to the path he should follow, and when he is old, he will not turn away from it, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 14 therefore, my beloved, flee idolatry, Exodus 20 verse 3 you will have no other gods before me, she gave her the name Kitty, everywhere she went she had this bear, when she was afraid she had this bear, this bear became her god, she had a life of disobedience on earth, she became rebellious to her parents because the teddy bear had put the spirits of rebellion in her, after a while she began to experience loneliness within herself and she saw that his parents didn't like him, she developed a life of solitude, to the point where she saw that no one loved her except her teddy bear, she had been initiated into witchcraft so that she could talk to her teddy bear like an ordinary person, ask to children who of these things if their teddy bears often speak than themselves will tell you, one day her teddy bear told her to take a knife and kill herself, that's what she did, it's this teddy bear who is torturing her here, some people take many abominable things lightly, I opened your eyes so that you could see the true identity of teddy bears, they are demons, therefore tell all who have these things that they are foreign gods, a house that has such things does not honor me tell them to throw these things away, Deuteronomy 7 verse 25 to 26 you will burn the graven images of their gods with fire, you shall not covet or take for yourself the silver and gold that are on them, lest these things become a snare to you, for they are an abomination to the Lord your God, you shall not bring an abominable thing into your house, so that you are not, like this thing, condemned by prohibition, you will have it in horror, you will have it in abomination because it is something devoted by prohibition, Leviticus 11 verse 44 For I am the Lord your God, you will sanctify yourselves, and you will be holy, for I am holy, and you will not make yourselves impure by all these, things, the bear of death in fashion, as it is written, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, nor any representation of the things which are in heaven above, which are on the earth beneath, and which are in the waters lower than the earth, 
The Lord Jesus Christ also spoke to us about certain popular brands, you will notice clothes that have the image of a teddy bear, a teddy bear, fashion clothing, on certain brands like Nike, Gucci, and others, but you must know that the Moschino brand is a demonic brand, you will identify this brand with this teddy, which is represented, which is therefore truly this teddy, this bear plush. The Lord Jesus Christ opened my eyes, while warning me that several of his children were already living in the world, through fashion, at the beginning I saw a huge teddy bear on a very large throne, there were billions of little stuffed animals swarming around this monster, he had a crown on his head with a reed, he led this army of little devils, in the vision I saw how the teddy bears were deposited on t-shirts and clothes of people, and they took the form of an image, beloved in the Lord. These clothes are carriers of evil powers, and these images that you see are demons, get rid of these things and let's give glory to the Almighty, when a person is going to wear these things he will not even know, that he is already possessed, let us read the word of God, it is written, in the day of the sacrifice of the Lord, I will punish the princes and the king's sons, and all those who wear strange clothing. Zephaniah 1 verse 8, it is important to know that these clothes are clothes, of foreign gods, the clothes that come from Edom or fashion, this is why God says that he will punish the princes sons of the king, the Christian children of God, so people of God, let us be holy as our heavenly father is, you will sanctify yourselves and be holy, for I am the Lord your God, Leviticus 20 verse 7, the Lord Jesus Christ brought up a screen, and on the screen, I saw a house, while I was looking, I saw a teddy bear that was on the table as a decorative item, Isaiah 5 verse 20 Woe to those who call evil good, and good evil, who turn darkness into light, and light into darkness, who change bitterness into sweetness, and sweetness into bitterness. Then someone left the money on the table where the teddy was, what happened was the teddy bear took the money from the table, when the owner of the money came he couldn't believe that it was the teddy bear who took the money. The children of the house had been accused and corrected for what they do not know, beloved in the Lord. The aim of these things is to sow division, discord and disagreement, where these things are peace will be rare because Satan is working in that place, I saw on the screen a house, while the Christians of that place were praying the fire of the Holy Spirit came down, but a few minutes after the fire, it went out and there was spiritual cold, because there were teddy bears and others in that place fighting the prayer of Christians, the Lord Jesus Christ said to me, when these things are somewhere my presence is disturbed, and there will be war between heaviness and the fire of the Holy Spirit, so it is better that you throw these things away flee from idolatry, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 14, let us therefore be sanctified because God says, do not love the world, nor the things that are in the world, if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world, 1 John 2 15-16, with that, God bless you.